Hey, Fit Pros, before we get to this new episode in the Kips podcast, I want to quickly share about our newest course on Kips, Social Media for Fitness Professionals. This course is all about the fundamentals. As a Fit Pro, you know how fundamental exercises are important for building a foundation within an exercise program, and that's what we're going to be doing in this course. Authored by me, Tyler Valencia. I go through the stats involving all the major social media platforms and then show you step-by-step how to do it. In the first lecture, I build a fictitious business branding kit with a new logo, color wheel, and font. And then we use those to set up new Facebook pages, start a private group, how to use Creator Studio, set up a basic Facebook ad, set up an Instagram, how to post on Instagram, and how to set up a YouTube channel. We do it all in this course, and one of the best parts is you can get your continuing education credits. Head to the link in the description to find out more. Let's get to the show. Welcome to the best of June 2022 episode. My name is Tyler Valencia, and I'm the president of KIPS and Time to Train Fitness. We are at the halfway mark of 2022 at the time of this release. It is already July, so we're past it. But with summer here, inside or outside the gym, we know that our clients, they're either taking their vacations, their summer breaks, they're going off. So what does that leave us with? It leaves us with some extra time, some extra time to work on personal development, maybe take a new course, or maybe try a new format at the gym. What I have always suggested is maybe trying a small group class. If you have never gone into that area, if you are a fit pro that mainly dabbles in the one-on-one, the personal training realm, trying a small group class is such a great tool. It's hopefully a stepping stone towards teaching a full group fitness class. And really this allows you to meet more members. That's one of the biggest assets I tried to utilize when I worked at a gym was teaching group exercise, even though I mainly preferred to do one-on-one. Group fitness, think about it. You're in front of more members on a more consistent basis. And when you're walking around the gym, you're hopefully spending extra time at the gym and people are saying, hey, hey, Tyler, hey, what are you doing today? Are you teaching a class? And then you eventually get to a point where you're subbing classes and people want to then come to them more gets your face out there and people know that you work there. They associate you with the gym, which is what you want. If you're already in the group fitness realm, you know this already. You know what a great tool this is and how many people talk to you and want to know your opinion on exercise, on a new fitness plan, all those kinds of great things. With June at Kips, we released some great tutorials Two of them that we're going to get to, and one of them, honestly, is our longest one, and honestly, one of the best ones that we've done. If if you're trying to find ways to customize your own business, we create a tutorial that I'm going to get to a little later on, but first, let's go through some admin work and talk about the top 10 cities of June. Starting in at number 10, Richardson, Ashburn, Sacramento, San Juan Capistrano, Los Angeles, Norfolk, Montreal, Frankfurt, Columbus, and two months in a row at the top spot, Canberra. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. And as a reminder, if you're listening, if you're a fan of the show and there's something you want to hear, a topic that you want discussed, something that while you're walking, while you're in the car driving to your next session, send us an email. Send us an email and we will gladly explore it, see what we can do to create an episode. Send us an email to info at kipsonline.org with the subject line podcast. One more item in the admin realm is that if you're in the D.C. area, if you are a fit pro that works in D.C., Maryland, Virginia, the weekend of August 5th and 6th is the DCA FitCon. In the description, you'll find a list of all the lectures and yours truly, me, will be presenting two lectures both in the personal training realm. On August 5th, I have my Breaking the Core lecture and workout, which takes a look at the latest issues facing core training. And then we go through a variety of core exercises. With the hands-on, I like to try to tailor it to the audience, to the fit pros that are attending, and hopefully what kind of equipment they will typically see. For example, at the last conference that I did for this organization, I utilized some bar gliders. That's a piece of equipment that you can most likely find at every gym or if you're doing boot camp, small group, or even if you're at a boutique gym, 
These are things that you can utilize and do some fun multiplanar dynamic core exercises. The following day, I have my new lecture, which is Breaking Barriers Involved with Exercise Selection. This will be my second time doing this lecture, and it's designed to be an open conversation with the participants. The joke that I told at this lecture last time was that we've all been to those sessions, those conferences where we have that participant that is nonstop sharing, oversharing sometimes, and in the back of our heads, we're thinking, oh, this person needs to stop so that we can get on with this session. No. I want that type of conversation. In this lecture, we go through examples that you've probably already seen, and there are sometimes uncomfortable conversations to have, but we go through them and we try to tackle them in a professional manner that hopefully give you those tools to be successful when they come up so that you feel confident and you can move past them and build trust with your clients. Now, getting to the podcast episode that was released in June 2022, we got one in, but it was a good one. This was with somebody that I recently met in the last few months, but is somebody that I highly recommend checking out his YouTube channel, his social media accounts, and is a true professional in my opinion. His name is Joe Alvarado. He's a fit pro based in Centennial, Colorado. He works for Lifetime Fitness out there. He's one of the managers but he also does a cycling-based YouTube channel. Now, I met Joe through a YouTube brainstorming group that I'm a part of, and Joe does have a monetized channel. At the moment of the recording, he has 1.74 thousand subscribers, so he does have a monetized channel, meaning he reached the minimum 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch hours requirement to apply to become a monetized channel. He's got that. Now he's building past it, looking for ways to keep his videos engaging, find ways to build his base. And in this podcast episode, we talk about YouTube. We talk about why he did it, why he enjoys it, but also tips for fit pros that have considered it. I say this all the time with fit pros that don't know much about YouTube and they see it out there and they have questions and they maybe want to just try it. What I usually say to them is if you want to try it, actually try it. Don't just throw something up there. That's the common term I hear out there. Oh, I'm just going to throw something up there and see if something happens. No, that's not YouTube. That's not how you see if it's worth it for you. Really take the time to film a quality workout, a quality video that's going to showcase hopefully what you're going to be offering on YouTube. So in this episode, Joe shares his why, why he started his channel, talks about some of the struggles that many individuals will face, and at the end talks about that work-life balance. Remember, I mentioned that he's also a manager. He's a manager at a in-person gym, a large gym. He's one of their group fitness managers that helps with the classes. And he shares that work-life balance. How does he break his week up so that he can film, so that he can edit, that he can plan for his classes? The snippet that I'm going to showcase right now is Joe talking about the personalities, the personalities of a fit pro that maybe you want to showcase a little bit more of you in a different way. How do you do that? How do you build that confidence? In this clip, Joe talks about how in another role that he does with his church, how he realized that, oh, I want to incorporate more of this motivational side. How do I do that? How do I go through that? And in this clip, I think it's very valuable for fit pros to listen to. How do you go through that process and really build upon it? Now, and we had been, you know, honestly, we had been uh, live on YouTube for years before the pandemic. And so being in front of a camera wasn't, uh, wasn't an issue for me. But what was an issue, and, and Tyler, what I had to figure out, um, because I, I became uh, a, a, a cycling instructor after I was already um, teaching on Sunday mornings at my mm. church, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, for the longest time, and, and again, I love, I love that we're talking about this, for the longest time, I would, I would separate the two personalities. Like this is mm. Joe on a bike and this mm -hmm. is Joe on a pulpit. Right. And this yeah. is, and, 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 uh, and, and on Sunday mornings, I was just the teacher. And, and, and then uh, on, when I'd get on a bike, I was more charismatic and more like, let's, we can do this, you know? And, and it hit me one day. I'm like, well, am I two different people or, or what's going mm -hmm. on with this? You know, and how can, how can I bring these two together? Like for whatever yeah. reason with, without even, you know, being intentional at all about it, I had like these two different personas. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's something that um, I, I started 
I started experimenting with bringing the two together. And here's what I mean. Um, I was always pretty level-headed at church, just kind of doing my, my teaching thing. Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, well, why can't I get a little excited about teaching? You know what I mean? The Bible. And then and when I was at teaching a cycle class, I'm like, well, why can't I bring some of the some of the things that encourage people uh, to this to the cycle class? Like, what if I'm teaching about just how to have a better day, or how to how to lift your spirits, or how to um, be more consistent, you know, with with uh, with Bible? But but we're talking about working out now, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And and so I started to merge the two, and it was it it, it, it became a beautiful thing because now I get on the bike. And I'm, I'm still a little charismatic, you know, I like to get animated, mm-hmm. uh, but then I'll tell somebody, Hey, you know what, you're, you're here. Um, because you care about the one and only body that you have. Yeah. And I want you to remember that as you're being a little selfish today, you're actually being better for the people who need you most, you know? And then I start bringing in that teaching aspect, that inspirational aspect that I, that I took from the church, if that makes sense, you know? Mm-hmm. And so um, that's how I kind of started molding the two together to bring um, all of my experience in front of the camera via the church, bringing that to you to bring that personality to uh, the camera where you're the only person in the room, right? And you're looking mm-hmm. into a lens and to be able to, to be that same charismatic teacher, motivator, smiling while yet giving something that totally makes sense where people could reach their goals all with the, the mindset of there's, there's somebody who's doing this for the first time. And there's somebody who's been doing this forever and everybody in between. Now getting to our YouTube tutorials, there were two tutorials that I really feel are business building tutorials, really solid for helping you build your business, get yourself out there. And when I say business, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're running a business. You could be a fit pro working at a gym working as an instructor, group fitness instructor, personal trainer, and you really want to build your social media. So take that away as you listen to this, because if I use the word business, it could just be yourself. You could be an individual building yourself, building your base and that aspect. The first one that was put out there was using Canva to build your fitness business. Now, if you don't know what Canva is, I highly recommend if you're listening, go to the description hit the affiliate link we have in there and create an account. Canva is a free tool. They do have a paid one that I highly recommend utilizing if you want to go down this route. But the easiest way that I explain Canva is that it helps you take the job of a graphic designer. Is a graphic designer helpful? Yeah. Are they more knowledgeable? Yeah. Can they help you build your business? Yeah. But not all of us have that type of money to be able to spend on a quick image or a logo or different promotional items. Canva gives you the tools, the resources to help you build your social media channels. And when I say social media channels, I mean all of them, not just Instagram, not just Facebook, not just Twitter, not just YouTube. You can build them all with Canva. You can create professional images. You can upload your own videos. You can upload your images and then brand them. It gives you all these resources, templates, the image or video dimensions for all the different social media platforms. It's such a useful tool to utilize. It does take some time, but honestly, it's pretty user-friendly. It does take time to learn it, to learn how to move, maneuver it. But once you get the hang of it, oh my, you will see why and how it can be useful for you. What I would recommend, go watch the tutorial that's in the description that goes through the basics of Canva and create an account. Create an account, upload an image, and see what you think about it. See if it's easy for you. And one of the things that I didn't mention in that tutorial was actually the mobile app. That's one of the things that I've started to utilize over the last few weeks. I have my templates already kind of made, but what I can honestly do on my mobile phone is create an image for YouTube with the items that I have in there. I can remove a background. I can change the color. I can change the text. I can crop an image all on my mobile phone, export it, and then go to the YouTube app and upload it. Very practical if you're on the road or if you have some free time and you want to get something done. Check out Canva, go see what I'm talking about, and hopefully utilize it to continue building yourself, building your business. Now, the second tutorial that was put out in June was one that I couldn't wait to start it. 
I couldn't wait to get it out there because it's one of those ones that if you want more freedom, you want more tools in your toolbox, you start to bring things home. You start to bring things within your capability to help you build your business. Now, this tutorial was on creating your own booking system. So if you are an online coach, you're a group fitness instructor, you're a personal trainer, you look for a booking system for clients to log their sessions, book sessions, and really be able to pay, do everything all in one place. And over the last few years, these have become more popular. And in this tutorial, I take you through a step-by-step -step guide to set it up, to brand it, to include your logo, to include all the items that you'll need to start utilizing it right away. Now, this tutorial, it's through Start Booking. And how I came across it was a fellow Fit Pro asked me if I could help them with a booking site. They're not tech savvy, so I went down that route to help them out and I found Start Booking. This was actually after trying two WordPress based premium plugins. And if you're familiar with WordPress for website building and plugins, what that means, it's a paid premium plugin. And each of them was over a hundred bucks and they weren't useful for fit pros. That's one of the things that I liked with start booking is that a fit pro can utilize it for their necessities. What does that mean? That group classes that people can look through it, book different classes, create packages, buy packages, and not be stuck within a one size fits all. The WordPress based plugins, they say they're for fitness pros, but really they weren't working. They weren't useful for fit pros. So with start booking a potential member or one of your members, they could log in, purchase a package, book those sessions and be set. That's what you want. You want ease. And one of the useful things with start booking is that you could utilize it as your website or integrate it with your website. That's one of the cool things with it. And I'm sure that that will develop more as time goes on. But if you don't want a website, if you don't want to operate a website, Awesome. Just use this. You start booking as your website. You can brand it, put your logos up there, all the information people need for doing sessions with you, and you're set. Now, I quickly hinted at you could do it with online instruction if that's what type of coaching you do. You can create your packages, select online on there, and boom, now you have your session set. If you're a wellness coach, you're a health coach, you're someone doing online training, you don't have a physical location you could still utilize this to build your business. So what I would recommend is go check it out. At the link in the description, you'll find the step-by-step -step tutorial. Watch some of it, see if it fits with your business, check out their website, and hopefully start that process of building your business in that way. Now that's been it for this best of June 2022 episode. As always, these episodes is just a snippet of what we did and what we released in the previous month. It's a roundup give you an idea, hopefully entice you to go listen or watch the full tutorial and hopefully help you in that way. These pieces of content that we create, they're free, 100% free. If you decide to take steps further on, we hope that they help you. But until the next one, keep building, keep grinding out there, and I'll see you in the next one.